Hello, welcome to another LEGO Polybag review of this Legends of Chima 30251 with Windsor. That's what the back of the packet looks like. Put that in the back right there. Uh, each pack also has like one spare of these slanted flat pieces and one of the red studs. There's three here because there's three packs. And uh, LEGO Legends of Chima 30264 with Frax. It's like a newer design, like the next wave. Yeah, very fiery. Put that in the back. Quick look at the instructions manual. Does advertising uh, some pretty cool new sets, I think. Let's zoom in on that. Big giant wings and ice monsters. So, fire versus ice. Pretty much like Mortal Kombat. Scorpion versus Sub Zero. And a quick look at the other instructions. A lot bigger. And instead of that, I just uh, have a trailer of all the TV series that um, is not doing as well as Ninjago, but it seems to be carrying on. Like I said, there's uh, three of these, so let's put them all in. here. <coughs> Since he's a wolf, he has like these little bony stuff on his vehicle because wolves, right? Let's get him off this. This little like, snow skiing thing. Actually, this was uh, from last wave of free stuff that I gave away in newspapers. Want to check out the full details? Go to the uh, Lego Movie Mini Micro Manager uh, review. It's pretty cool. It's got some movement. You know, it's got the back uh, blades do move a little bit, and so do the front ones. And then now make them. Yeah, you know, just go up and down. So you know, these can go on different surfaces slightly, like bumpy surfaces. Plus the control stick and overall it looks okay. It's a pretty solid piece and it looks like it can actually be like a little uh, I guess a little uh, snow bike thing. Because it comes with one of these gems, they all do standard. I, f do I feel the bootleg version of these. And anyway, back print, very simple. The front print's very nice, got a little gem in his chest. He's like Iron Wolfman. Uh, face, head, now head. Print is pretty good, the scars coming down and uh, matching the ones with the face underneath. So, very shiny, very sharp. Take that off, and um, one expression is just a normal one, the cut eye, and the other one is it's like growling. Hmm. You can go there. So, a pretty good set, I think. And uh, the final one, which is a small set, but I think a lot cooler, maybe because because I haven't really seen a lot of uh, these ones yet. Um, get them off. Uh, uh, the actual vehicle sucks. It's just a flat piece of God knows whatever. It doesn't make any sense. Also, he has wings, so I guess unless he's going on a long distance travel, he doesn't really need these. Uh, but so yeah, kind of really boring piece. Just kind of pointless. It does come with some. Transparent orange pieces, like this gem one and these two pieces there, but yeah, overall really boring. The figure, however, is a lot more interesting. I don't know, looks kind of Wallace and Gromit to me. You know, like sort of plasticine look. It's a fiery bird. So he has a normal expression, looks okay. Uh, I'm not a fan of this face, I think it looks a bit silly. But the body is pretty good, you can pretty much uh, remove this and put another head and it's got some sort of weird, like sort of eagle uh, warrior. Toes looks a bit dodgy I think. Uh, but yeah, body's pretty good. Back print, lots of details going on, tiny details and slightly more angry face. But um Well this now actually no this is normal expression, this one's slightly angrier. Just, both expressions are very, very similar. A bit too similar to uh, tell the difference. Uh, but what's really cool is that he comes with uh, one of the best pieces here. You've got one of these flat pieces. That you also have a spare, so you got two pieces. A tiny yeah, flat stud with a little fire logo on it. And I think these are really cool pieces. You can do you know, so much with these. Just you know, make them with something else. They're really cool pieces. So, uh, so the figure and this piece is pretty much the highlight. You can say it's part of the figure, but uh, not necessarily. Um, yeah, I mean the figure looks kind of cool, but I'm um, not too big a fan of the uh, helmet piece. But, you know, overall it's interesting because, again, probably because uh, I haven't seen a lot of these yet, and it's sort of like a newer design. 
So the bottom line is, if you get the poly back of the one on the left, uh, they fire you on, the, uh, you're getting it for the unique piece, and uh, it's an interesting figure. Otherwise, it kind of sucks. Just, uh, um, if you got self, it's completely, you just take that on par, use it for spare pieces, for other things. Um, then again, looking at the advert, uh, you can get other of these, other, you know, the, another one of these birds from a bigger set, so... Uh, this might be a good chance to get some rarer parts, especially in this colour, I don't think. I mean, orange is pretty common, but not in terms of wings or, you know, bird shapes, so... Uh, unique Pieces is good for the orange pack. As for the blue one, the figure is pretty good, and the figure is, well, not too special. No pack feels like a complete set, and not just a cheap giveaway. So, subscribe to Jess and comment below, because take care, and have a nice day. Bye. Now, by the way, both sets are completely solid.